hey, this was not a regularly scheduled video, but trust me on this, stop what you're doing. Just take an 11 minute break and go watch this video right here. This is a YouTube channel called Flat Earth and Coffee. And this video was released yesterday and does a fantastic job at explaining why a 24 hour sun works on a globe and why a 24 hour sun in Antarctica does not work on a flat earth. You might recognize this channel, Flat Earth and Coffee, because they were actually featured in our video called The Experiment. So you might wanna check that one out again. Flat Earth and Coffee, this YouTube channel does a great job at explaining things very clear, very concise. The visuals are great, the graphics are great, but most important, he does not misrepresent the globe side. He explains accurately the globe side, and that's what we need. We need both sides accurately representing the other side if we expect to make progress here. So check out this video. Go ahead and ignore uh, the comment on the video from Taboo Conspiracy, who seems to be walking back on his claim that Antarctica is the one place on this earth that would prove a flat earth. I'll keep working on him. And just to head this off at the pass, I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions as to whether or not I agree with everything in this particular video. And the answer is no, I agree with most of it. And I agree with the main premise, which is why a 24 hour sun must happen on a globe and why a 24 hour sun in Antarctica cannot work on a flat earth. The couple of things I disagree with are at the end where he says, you can't visit Antarctica. That's not true. We are going to Antarctica this December. You can visit Antarctica. There's many tour companies that go there. We're using Antarctic Logistics and Expeditions, ALE. The second thing he said is that you can't travel past 60 or 66 degrees south. That's also not true as our camp, Union Glacier, is right at 80 degrees south. But anyway, please go watch this video. It does a great job of explaining why the final experiment is the final experiment on this matter. Hey, I'm also going to be on Jaronism this afternoon. I know everybody's looking forward to that, to see whether or not Jaron is going to accept a free trip to Antarctica to represent the flat earth side. See you this afternoon. Bye-bye.